I have recognized that my table here in Budapest is not getting as warm as the table in Stuttgart. So I want to analyze why we need uh, table heating at all for carambol billiards and not for others. Stay tuned. When I come to my billiard room, I turn on the PC, have the lights on, listen to the music. The question why Carambol Sports has heated table is clear. Snooker or pool, the rolling of the ball is not so important since the second ball is going into the hole. In three cushion, the balls are running much longer and therefore it's much more important. I have these two temperature measurement devices. One is mobile, which I put here on the table. Uh, beneath is the thermostat or the temperature measurement uh, sensor of the table and this one I put here on a good basis. Well, it's a messy here, but it will work. So let's come back to the specs. According to German Billiard Federation, the temperature of the table should be between 25 and 28 degrees. This is necessary to have a consistent rolling of the ball, avoid any humidity of the slate and the cloth. As far as I've understood, humidity is the problem. Humidity goes into the fibers and dust and makes everything a little bit more sticky. So the temperature is needed to evaporate the humidity. So why don't they just specify the humidity instead of the temperature? overnight the room was cooling out, table was uh, heating, but when I started working the room temperature increased and the table temperature increased also. In parallel I have measured in three points the table temperature and that is constant. So that means the air over the table is heating with the room temperature which is normal and that makes all these measurements maybe obsolete. I have here some isolation material which I will glue under the table and then the, the heating up will be much faster, I hope at least, and uh, that will be much more energy efficient and cost reductive. So let's try it out. I cut the styrofoam into pieces and glued it under the table. Uh, this cutting action made a lot of small pieces and uh, a whole big mess into the room, but it was just a cleaning job after that. I was really curious about the results after this action. <sighs> what a mess. Whoa. Okay, but it's done. So, let's continue. So while I was looking for information about table heating in billiards, I found out that Queen Victoria had also a table, billiard table with heating. And in 1917, there was the first ball blind tournament with heated tables in New York. So here I started heating uh, in the afternoon and uh, then in the night I turned the table off and you see that the room temperature was almost constant and the table heated very fast. Um, so we can say maybe the table is heating now faster but it can also be that 
the room temperature was higher and therefore the heating curve is better. The wobbles from the on off have the same frequency so in my point of view uh, there is no big difference. I also measured over the whole table the temperature distribution. The measurement results show that the temperature is quite evenly distributed over the table but only the boundary areas are lower than the center. Now we we made this temperature measurement and uh, so what is it good for this temperature? The federations claim that the ball is running better if the table is hotter or warmer. So let's make a benchmark whether it's really running longer with warm table. So I have here this plate, it's wooden and I've mounted here two straight um, other wooden things to have one side uh, on the cushion and the other side is touching uh, the cushion from the top side. So I have here a fixed height and I have marked here the location where I want to indicate the position for the white ball. I am doing this only with the white ball and let's go. Okay, I will just here put a mark. Okay, pretty much the same, a little bit less. And now let's heat up the table. Jemal, yeah. this was for you. The table is now warm. We have um, 31.4. Go, 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 go. Hmm, one and a half volts. What is my conclusion after all these measurements and uh, pimping up my table? The styrofoam didn't bring anything, I think. It's just, yeah, work for me and I know I love my table. The heated table made the balls running 2% longer. I think this is very, very important. Yeah, it's one ball longer. Mm. And uh, the conclusion why we need it is that the humidity is the problem. Humid areas need more table heating. So, but yeah, in my room, I don't have humidity. I mean, the humidity is around 30%, which is low. So I think I can turn off the heating without any big dis 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 disadvantage. Disadvantage. Disadvantage without any big disadvantage. Thank you very much for visiting the Night Cafe. Stay strong, stay cool, stay at Night Cafe.